In this video, I want to show you one way that we can find the exact value for the sine of 72 degrees. So of course there's several ways to do this, uh, including geometric and algebraic approaches. I'm going to go ahead and take an algebraic approach in this video. So I'm going to start by saying x equals 72 degrees. Okay. And so since it's an equation, whatever I do to one side, I can do to the other. So I'm going to start by multiplying both sides by 5. So 5x equals, and then 72 times 5 will be 360 degrees. All right, the next thing, I'm going to go ahead and break this 5x down into 2x plus 3x. And that equals my 360 degrees. And next, I'm going to go ahead and subtract 3x from both sides. So what do I have right here? Well, it's 2x equals this 360 degrees minus 3x. So I'm saying these two sides are equal to one another. So I'm going to do now the sine of both sides of the equation. Okay, and this is really nice because on the left I have the sine of 2x, which is a double angle identity. So I will be able to expand this 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x. And on the right side, it looks like I have this difference formula or difference identity for sine. So I'm going to go ahead and expand the right side as well. And when I do that, I'll have the sine of 360 degrees times the cosine of 3x minus the sine of 3x times the cosine of 360 degrees, okay? And there's some nice things about this. Uh, for one, the sine of 360 degrees is actually zero. So that will take and zero out that entire part of the expression. And similarly, the cosine of 360 degrees is one. So I can totally ignore that multiplication by one. So as I wrap this up a little, we'll tidy it up, I have 2 times the sine of x times the cosine of x equals the opposite of the sine of 3x. Well, that looks uh, not too bad at all. And so I have this triple angle identity for sine, so I can go ahead and expand that side as well. So my left side stays the same. And my right side is going to be, let's see, the opposite of. And our triple angle identity for sine is going to be, let's see, 3 sine x minus 4 sine cubed x. Okay? So I have sines all over the place. And that's really good because ultimately, remember, we're trying to solve for sine x. And x is 72 degrees. So let's continue by distributing that negative through there. So 2 sine x cosine x on our left side equals negative 3 sine x plus 4 sine cubed x. And I'm just going to go ahead and switch these two terms around. I don't like to lead with this negative. I'm going to switch them and put the negative as a minus sign in the middle of that binomial. And that's for a specific reason. We'll do that next. Okay, so here I have sine, sine, and sine, but I don't really like that cosine right there. I need to take care of him. So I'm going to square both sides of my equation in an effort to create a cosine squared term, which then I can use a Pythagorean identity and substitute in one minus sine squared. So let's see what that might look like. So squaring this left side gives us four sine squared x times cosine squared x equals, and on this right side I have this binomial, it's being subtracted, so I can use this square of a binomial. So I'm going to square the first term, so 16 sine to the sixth x, and don't worry too much about that sine to the sixth. I know that looks kind of hairy scary right there, but uh, it'll take care of itself pretty nicely. And then I'm going to subtract, so minus and it's going to be multiplying these two together and then doubling it. So 4 and 3 is 12. Doubling is 24 sine to the 4th x, because the 3 plus the 1. 
And then I'll square this last term. So plus 9 sine squared x. All right. So as promised, this cosine squared, we're going to go ahead and substitute in for it 1 minus sine squared x. And then this left side just comes on down. Sorry, the right side comes on down. And the left side we're going to do some distribution on. So 4 sine squared x minus 4 sine to the fourth x equals, and yes, once again, the right side comes down for the ride. Okay, here we go. Lots and lots of signs here. So instead of having this trigonometric equation right here, let's go ahead and do a little substitution where u equals the sine of x. Remember, x is 72 degrees, and so this is the sine of 72 degrees, and that's what we're solving for. So if we're able to solve for u, that will give me the sine of 72. So each of these signs is going to turn into a u, so it'll be 4 u squared minus 4u to the 4th equals 16u to the 6th minus 24u to the 4th plus 9u squared. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take these two terms, move everything over to the right side, set it equal to 0. So 16u to the 6th minus 20u to the 4th plus 5u squared. Okay, it looks like we can factor a u squared out of all that. So 16u to the 4th minus 20u squared plus 5. And of course, this is in some kind of factored form, and it equals 0. So what I can do is go ahead and just take each of those factors and set them equal to 0. The u squared equals 0. Uh, that's not going to give me anything that I care about, so I'm going to ignore that. This equation, however, it almost looks quadratic in nature. The, uh, the exponents are 4, 2, and 0. So I could use the quadratic formula on this and say that u squared equals, because that's that linear term here, is u squared. So let's go ahead and use these coefficients, a, b, and c, and solve for u squared, which then we can take the square root of uh, both sides to find u, which is our sine of 72. So the opposite of B, so here's our A, B, and C, A, B, C. So the opposite of B will be positive 20 plus or minus the square root of, well, B squared will be 400 minus 4 times A times C, and all that's over twice the A value. Okay, so let's see, 4 times 16 times 5 should be 320. So 400 minus 320, uh, I think the square root of 80, and that's all over 32. So u squared equals 20 plus or minus, let's see, the square root of 80 should simplify to 4 times the square root of 5, all over 32, which uh, should be able to factor and cancel a 4 out of everything. So there's a 5 and a 1 and an 8 which makes this 5 plus or minus the square root of 5 all over 8, and that does equal my u squared. So I'm going to do the square root of both sides, and of course I'll have this plus or minus out front of the left side. But since we're solving for the sine of 72 degrees, and 72 is in the first quadrant, and sine is positive in the first quadrant, I actually don't care about the negative, and I want the positive. So I'm just going to circle that rascal. So it looks like right now my value for u, which is sine of 72 degrees, equals positive, and we have the square root of 5 plus or minus the square root of 5, all over 8. Well, looking inside here, it looks like I have a plus or minus inside the radical itself. Well, the minus or the plus, it won't affect whether it's negative or positive under the radical. But I do know that using the negative will actually give me the sign of 36 degrees instead of 72. So I'm going to do this plus because that's going to give me the sign of 72. Okay. 
And so as I continue along, let's go ahead and divide up the radical. So I have the numerator, 5 plus the square root of 5 under a radical, and then the square root of 8 there. Let's rationalize this denominator by multiplying the top and bottom by the square root of 2. So it looks like now, let's go ahead and write it below, the sine of 72 degrees. And so here's my exact value. Da, da, da. So it looks like I have the square root of 2 right here. And then when I multiply across, the square root of 16 is 4. And that's times the square root of 5 plus the square root of 5. So here is what that exact value looks like for the sine of 72. Let's go ahead and push this over just a little bit. And let's grab a calculator and kind of verify that that works. So here we go. So we're going to do the inverse of sine to get that uh, arc sine or inverse sine up there. And then we have this ratio where we have the square root of 2, and that's being divided by 4. And then we're multiplying that by the square root of 5 plus the square root of 5. Let's close off all those parentheses and equal uh, 72 degrees. And that's quite nice. Okie dokie. So here is that exact value. The sine of 72 degrees is the square root of 2 divided by 4. And that's being multiplied by the square root of 5 plus the square root of 5.